I'm swinging like a dick in the wind. chirping it's like 60 degrees here at 6 30 in the morning and we packing up the truck splendid to see all of you loyal puff daddies and mommies and whatever you choose to lgb qt qtxyz connect for so you decide um, in this video it is the beginning of trout season in pennsylvania Uncle Canada. And I are going up to trout fish, a new stream, and then either the same stream tomorrow or a stream that we love tomorrow, depending on how good the new stream is. So <clears throat> good to see all of you. And again, in this video, we are going opening week trout fishing in Pennsylvania uh, for rainbows that are stocked, browns that are natural and stocked, and then brook trout that are natural. So we're doing an overnighter to start the season. So today we're driving in about three hours to the Allegheny National Forest, maybe just a little bit less. And we are going to hike in this new stream we've been eyeballing for a while. Uh, should be very abundant, hoping. And then tomorrow, if uh, we kill it today and feel like we want to explore more since we'll already be there, we'll go try that again, do more exploring. Um, if not, we will head back and we're bringing our bicycles and we will bike in to our favorite spot and hit that. Um, I would like to hit that either way, but if this new spot is killing it, then why not stay? So it be a little bit too cold to camp at night. So we just, we're staying at the Schitt's Carlton. It's like $47 a night. So a lot of these places we go fly fish, we hike in pretty far, but a lot of times there's like old logging roads or gas roads or anything along those lines or like a rail to trail. So we've biked in before and I've had to use Mrs. Puff Puff's beach cruiser. It doesn't have gears. So I went out and bought myself a new mountain bike. It was pretty cheap, but the Shimano, not sure if it's related to fishing Shimano, the Hyper from Walmart. And we rode them last weekend, even though we didn't catch fish, it was a nice trial run of all the gear and uh, pretty happy with it. So if you're looking to not hike as far and bike a little to get in or just have a nice bike to ride, I would recommend it for the price point. I was just telling them about you. I do. Do, do you, you know them? I do. They know you? I'm back. I was telling them about the Shimano Hyper. It's on. Only thing is that my ass still hurts and it's been four days. So I told them we're going to explore new lands with new gears and new bikes. Yeah. And that if it's really good, we'll explore more. But if not, we're going back to tried and true lands. And when you're going to do those things, you pack like a man mm -hmm. and you pack and you enjoy. I don't know. It's That's like, right. imagine how Gimli and Legolas and Aragorn had to run across to like try and keep up with the orcs. Like they couldn't just bring everything they wanted. Right. They needed to pack things like elvish bread, which was very high in protein and elvish, carbohydrates. Yeah, elvish rope but too. It was, but it was very small. Mm. It's always nice when you have good times. So where do you stop for breakfast? If you don't know where we are, I don't know what to tell you. The Cracker Barrel is delicious, nutritious, and the best way to start off any day, especially a fishing day. So. We're going to enjoy ourselves, get some nutrients, some sustenance, and we're going to continue to drive and go fishing. So we're full. Time to go over and fill up the truck, grab ourselves some lunch. Do you enjoy Cracker Barrel? 
I did. Lunch. Adult Lunchables. Yeah. The only problem with getting a big steak Mexican burrito for lunch is that for at least the next five hours, I'll be hiking with this in my backpack and smelling Mexican greens and meats as I'm on the trail. So I guess it's a good thing. Here we are. Welcome. Are we in the Allegheny National Forest? We are. So here we are. We're what? Two miles from at least, well, we're two miles from the borough that we're getting to. And then we got to get up there. But I'd say we're pretty, uh, Pretty well yeah. diversed. Yeah. Off these less pavement. Country roads take me home. What's the other one? It's live on a dirt road. It's Aldean. It's Jason and Aldean. I uh, left all my Bud Light at home though. Do you want to go back and get it? But if I do it in a yeah. castle. Where the grass and the dirt and the gravel all meet. Yep. So we'll see you there. Bob and Boot and Dime. What were you doing? Taking a pee. Yeah. Thinking about dirt roads. Peeing on a dirt road? Yeah. Some serious terrain. It is. Yeah, good old Pennsylvania. You can buy some eggs on the way up here. It's very moist out here. It is. Uh, well, we made it as far as we could go. The stream is uh, right down yonder. I don't know if you could see it or not, but you can definitely hear it. So let's gather ourselves and uh, yeah. assess. Definitely a uh, Glad we took the V8 instead of the four banger because I bought them. It's that last two percent. Right. It doesn't look as bad as it is, but around that bend, I have a big boy truck and I bottomed out. So. But uh, we're out here, pretty remote. Yeah, that definitely looks good down there. Very remote. So, hopefully we'll catch them. So this stream is stocked with rainbows, stocked with browns. There's wild browns, and there's brook trout. So, we'll see. It's like the candied Dovex of lures, or of flies. Oh man, I just farted and it's wafting up through my waders. Can you smell that? Oh. Cracker Barrel ass. Do you want to shout out to your boy who ties flies? My dude, my dude Rich and his son Richard. Mm. The Fly Ohioans. Crushing it. Shout out to our Cleveland Fishing Co. Sure. I need to get a hat. Real lucky apparel. New lands. Oh, that looks super nice. Pretty color. Beautiful. Oh yeah, this looks really nice. You got this run here and then this big ass pool up here. This looks really nice over here. Yeah, there's someone else's boot prints there oh, really? in front of you. Yeah, you know, probably see mine now, but there was a couple. Hey, but look at that. Oh. what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. Update, it's been a solid hour. We must've hit eight holes. Yeah. Uh, I think I had a bite. He verified he thinks it was, but nothing yet. Nothing a little yet. bit of bugs out. It's overcast, it's probably what, like 55 degrees? Yeah. Not quite 60, but on the cusp. So, I mean, we got all day. Beautiful stream though, beautiful spot. Nice runs, deeper pools, but hasn't translated to uh, cash now just yet. So, yeah, 877. Did you bring the traveler's checks? I didn't. Oh, that might be why. So we have to wait till the bank opens. That makes a lot of sense. Fish? No. Uh, so stay tuned. We're here. Diver. So you want to give them a rundown? So rundown. How much did that hammock cost you? 25. Mm. Actually, probably, I think I got it for 20 on sale. Mm. Lunch by hammock? Lunch by hammocks. 
you even like look cool. It Thanks. looks like does what it's told. It's doing it right now. Mm -hmm. what a smell, <laughs> yeah, I got a steak burrito. So we're gonna film ourselves getting into this. Oh, Sabre. Oh, yeah, check that out. I'm swinging like a dick in the wind. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting on my hammock. Yeah, after a nice burrito lunch, two hours of hiking and fishing, this is what you uh, want. I can't really describe it because if you can't tell how enjoyable it is just by looking at me and the look on my face, then I don't even recommend that you come out here. How do I look? You look like George Jefferson after he bought his first dry cleaner and then that song, I'm Moving On Up. Okay. So like right now, this is the east side. Me and Wendy were just talking about the Jeffersons. Uh, that's good. So this is what you call self-stuffing. <laughs> what you get is $25 worth of hammock, a sheets burrito, and then you just stuff away. And we're going to go fishing again. Yep. Self-stuffing. Write it down. So we fished for what? Like maybe about two hours, a little less? Yeah. A little bit less. What is it? Like one thirty? Mm-hmm. Plenty of gusto. Took we a nice soft 20. That was Another a great soft 20. To make reparations with the land you can just look at that i mean by uh enortec on amazon 25 yep. they're not paying me for this but i told uncle canada he kept telling me to get one for 25 and i said i should just pay him the 25 or you know what i'm getting at because yep. it's worthwhile so you yeah, look at that self-stuffing <laughs> you throw that at me on camera oh See? I see. It's a Jeep thing you won't understand. Call it Sweeney Falls. Call it that. All right, well, it's three o'clock. We did get a late start and that kind of paid off because it's been we're almost at our four hour mark. And beyond that first initial, what we thought was a bite, which at this point, I'm not even convinced it was. Uh, in other words, no fish. We did hammock and uh, lunch, which was nice. Had a couple uh, reties I had to do. Weather's nice, stable. Uh, but luckily we have tomorrow too. It's a two day or so. Either you've watched like 11 minutes of nothing so far, or uh, I don't know. I don't really know what else to say, but trying very much. We are trying very much. Uncle Canada with the fish, it's a rainbow. Looks like a decent sized one too. Oh yeah. Or is it a brown? I can't tell. Looks like a rainbow. It's a rainbow. Yes! Victory! Victory! Oh. Finally. Holy shit. Yep. I thought I felt something jump, uh, tap it before. Woo! Victory. Fish on. Thank God. That was a hard fought battle. Yeah, it was. Holy cow. Looks like he already unhooked himself. Definitely a stocky. Ooh. A little stocky. Yeah. What's definitely. his name? Uh, oh boy. How about you get him? But well, you want to release? Yeah, what's his name? Um, let's call him Walter. Dale Waltrip. Dale Waltrip, yeah, we'll change it to that. A nice fish, smile. Hey, yeah, can you take a few photos for my gram? See you, Dad. There he goes. There he goes. Fuck, man. All right, that's the move. He was literally at the end of that stump. I don't know if you could see that. Yeah, there. I saw last cast you went to set, but I'm like, is he on the stump? I'm not sure. Damn. 
All right. Well, that so looks. Hopefully, that means they're <laughs> up this stretch. From here up. We've covered a lot of ground. I'd say we had probably three yeah. miles already. There's a water strider. Yeah. Strider, aka Aragorn. Hands on. Let him fight. The brown. No. Back up and net his ass. Here we go. Get him out of that water. That's good stuff. Yeah! Hell yeah, dude. His name's gonna be a uh, hard fought Harry. I just blew out my fucking lungs screaming. Oh man. Yeah, that was a uh, long six hours with nothing. You got one, what, like a half hour ago? Yep. All right, I'm gonna let him go. You can see him right here. He's just chilling right there on that rock. You can see him. Oh yeah, right I there. Hard fought Harry. He fought really hard for a stocky. He's super beat up too. Just chilling. That was definitely hard fought. I screamed really loud. My voice hurts. Good shit. I don't have any words right now. I'll recap later. First fish on the new Reddington, classic trout. Oh, I feel good now. Ye hear ye, hear ye, old camp, smoky ropes. Smoky ropes. I say let's, uh, this is the place. Call it a day. Yeah, it's time to call it. Go get some protein and alcohol. Absolutely. Well, we gave it like six hours and change. It's a fair shake. Very fair shake. Lots of hiking. Probably two dozen, easily 20, 25 good spots. Didn't see any fish till we got to this upper stretch. Each caught one, spooked a few more up here. You know, after you catch a fish, you pick up your pace. Oh. No, we weren't spooking them downstream because so low and clear we would have seen them. But, all right, now we gotta, uh, well, trudge back to the car. So at least we'll get a video out of this, huh? Yeah. We're on our way back. Nice little trib. Probably some rookies in there. Something in there, yeah, it's a nice little nest knock. Well, we're still got a way to go, fuck. That's cool. Yeah. Don't Look wait. at that guy's galloping. Fair enough. Turkey next. All right, so we're back at the Ramada. Uh, where we're staying and uh, it's not very nice but it was only $40 for the night so let me just show you you don't want to smell what that burrito did coming out the other end but check this out last time last time I checked I don't have long hair and last time I checked the shower shouldn't look like that so my advice to you is if you ever come to Pennsylvania don't stay at a Ramada so stand by. I should also mention uh, there's no hot water. Um, I think I'll be calling Expedia for a refund. Thank you. Yeah, let's uh, have a, a look around. Not very uh, cleanly. I feel like Steve Martin and planes, trains, and automobiles when there's a problem with John Candy. I mean, that's pretty fucking nasty. Some stains. Ugh. I wonder who I'll be sleeping with tonight. More stains. More stains. Stains. Oh, there's a fridge. It's not even on. 
Uh, oh, cool, a reading lamp, thanks. Let's check out the view. Oh, I have a view of a Dollar Tree and the windows are... Ew, that's fucking nasty. Dude, there's stains on the curtains. How do you stain curtains? For $47 a night, I guess I'm not gonna cry, but I did use my Expedia points. It was $14 in savings. So in reality, I would have spent 60 for the night and I spent Expedia points. Look at the ceiling, that's disgusting. I'm calling for a refund. Stay tuned and we'll see what Uncle Canada has to say about this place. Also, the alarm clock isn't plugged in, so it's 426, and they have cool reading lights. Oh, doesn't even work. Doesn't even work. Welcome to my crib. What do you think? <laughs> There's, well, I gave him the tour of the hair in the shower and the uh, shorts in the corners. I didn't have any hot water. There wasn't There wasn't really much hot water. No, so I kind of made a wet mess, because I got in the shower and decided to film myself in the shower to showcase the shower. That's good. So, yeah. You're I good. hope everyone got a good tour. Should we get out of here? Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. Please. Can I get a rundown? A rundown. This place is janky, but it's cheap. Yeah. Super janky. Glad I brought my own sheets. I kind of wish I did. Let's go. I'm going to uh, insert the photo here of what it looked like on the internet. Shit for any broken shit. No. Uh, but some guy with a dog, I guess you can have dogs here. So Mrs. Puff Puff would like that. She would never stay here. But uh, some guy with a dog, uh, the dog was lunging at us in the hallway. So yeah, check this out too. Look at the, the walls. Great. So we each caught one rainbow today. It was a hard luck day, but we hiked a lot, got exercise. Got to see a really cool river that's just not on yet. But on that note, I don't know whether I want to clickbait this video as like grimiest hotel ever or rainbow trout excursion. We still have all day tomorrow, but I don't know what I'm going to call this video yet because you can go either way, the fishing or the hotel grime. I don't know. They should call this place the Rick Grimes Inn at Ramada by Windham. And this place has fallen down. I was just telling the subs, the daddies, yeah. pup daddies, should we clickbait this video as grimiest hotel ever or a <laughs> rainbow trout mission? Rainbow trout mission. Okay. Yeah. So here we are at the, well, I guess it's only, triple R Roadhouse. yeah, the Triple R Roadhouse. It smells really good. It says they've, just got a lot to Ooh. what is uh, your fancy tonight? I'll we'll see what's on the menu, but it looks like meat's back on the menu. Ooh. Ooh. The roadhouse. In. Well, we're definitely city boys in a country world, so I didn't really want to film at yeah. the roadhouse, but... We already got side eye. Side eye. We already were. Our uh, bartender was a corrections officer. She was fantastic. She actually said someone just drowned in the pool here. So, <laughs> she, she, am I lying? No, she didn't say that. <laughs> so here we are. Let's get back in. Yeah. So you've seen the rest. See, when you walk in, the, the ambiance is very quaint. That guy's here. The chef is here. And the sign's broken and scotch tape. So wait, let me ask you. The sign is broken. Why would they scotch tape it? Oh, the cook force room, it's scotch taped it's too. Scotch tape. I don't understand. So, which, I'll put it on the chart. which room would you rather have? I'm gonna go with the Allegheny room. Yeah, me too. So this is the courtyard. Oh, it's nice. Yeah, hang on. <laughs> Way louder. <laughs> it was pretty good. Though. I got it on camera. Should be a good vlog at least. Until next time. It's All right. Been, it's been fishing. Yeah, I'm just gonna wake up and I'll uh, yeah, that's like call you when I get there. All right. Enjoy yourself. Good old 165 at the Ramada. The guy with the barking dog is in the room right next to me. I hear the dog barking. So it's 9.30. I'm back in the room.
My ass! So let's try this again. It's 9.30. I'm back in the room. Wait, hang on. <laughs> oh, that's too rich. Oh, man. It's nice having a functional butthole. Only 9 p.m. But daddy is tired, if you couldn't tell by looking at me and hearing me. The only active part of me right now is my mouth and my butt. It's going to be like an episode of MTV Cribs. And tomorrow morning, we're going to wake up, mosey on out, get a nice breakfast, drive 26 minutes, fish. We'll see where we go from there. So I'm getting a refund for this hotel. The bed's actually kind of cozy, but I'm probably sleeping with people. Pretty solid day, I'm content. One fish apiece. The fish weren't just abundant yet. It's been very cold and wet to start this season. It's only been four days of trout season. There's just no hatches yet, so they're not really on a feeding frenzy. Tomorrow should be more favorable, I'm hoping and guessing, and I believe my intuition is correct. Follow your heart, your intuition. That's, I think, Destiny's Child or Aaliyah or something. So. <laughs> I'm really fucking tired. I love you all. Puff Daddies. Good night. Oh, my butthole is so active this evening. <laughs> All right, on a serious note, I'm going to bed now, but my lips are really chapped, so always make sure you bring chapstick in your toiletries. Good night. Good morning, sunshines. So I'm going to get up, pack my stuff, get the hell out of here, and we're going fishing again. Kind of a rough night's sleep. It's very warm in here. My throat hurts because I blew out my voice when I was screaming. I had to wake up to pee several times. But reviewing some of the footage from last night before I went to bed, it looks like we had a great time. <sighs> All right. So officially don't have to stay here ever again anymore. Look who it is. Thank you. Oh, that was a little bit alarming. Well, I got to tour the underside of the beds in there too, and I found some socks and found a quarter, but I thought I lost the keys. That was not good, but we're okay. Jesus, something about this hotel. How did that five minutes of not knowing what we were gonna do make you feel? It made me pucker. Mm. Yeah. So we opened up the tailgate last night brought our boots inside and had full hands, all of our luggage and stuff. So I threw my car keys in my boots for whatever reason. And then all of a sudden, don't have the keys, we're checking out, rip apart my bag, rip apart my luggage. Run back to the room, I call Uncle Canada. I'm like, the car's unlocked? He's like, no. And all of a sudden I hear him open the tailgate. I'm like, well, all of our bags are at the car. I have a key fob. So the keys must be by the car if he can open the tailgate. So I come out keys are in the boots but for about 10 to 12 minutes I thought we might be uh temporarily stranded no bueno well here we are get all of our crap back on and bike it on up oh it's a beautiful morning that's for sure keeping my oh we're you packing up tell them yeah we're about to strap some rods to the back of the bike mm. Be glorious. Mm. Looks like it's a little busier here today than on Sunday. I think we're gonna bike right by him. You should, uh, every time we see someone, you should ring your bell. Yeah, ting ting. Mm. Mm. Yeah, trout season opened a week ago, Saturday, the 1st of April. We came up on Sunday. You probably will never see that footage because we didn't catch anything. The water was a little blown out, like my butthole's about to do on the side of this trail. Um, so technically, all week long, I'm sure everyone's been getting their licks. Today's Good Friday. He has risen. Well, he will be risen. So, uh, 
Hopefully these fish will be rising too. Ting ting. A little over halfway in to the first hole. But after hiking like six miles yesterday, a two, three mile bike ride in to start the day uphill. It's like trying to climb up Mount Everest and the set of snowpack is just loose stool. Slippery. Ah, don't get old, they say. Or fat. About the same temperature as yesterday, sun's out. Water level looks bristological. Saw a couple fishermen on the way in, they all reported well. So hopefully that works in our favor. Daddy needs to take a dumpy. Uncle Canada keeps a shit kit. You know, in the past, I might have shown you what the dumpy looks like, but it's not feeling that today. I don't think you want to see that. So, oh, here, you can see it anyway. I'm just kidding. So, shout out to Uncle Canada for the shit kit, because pleasant. Well, we've been out here for, I don't even know, probably close to two hours, solid hour and a half. I just lost one at this last hole. If I can get it in view right there, lost one. He lost one right about here. So at least we got bites in the first quarter because yesterday we didn't get bites or catch fish until the end of the day. What's that? I'm gonna catch a fish right now for the camera. All right, go ahead. He just called his shot like Babe Ruth, but so a little bit of action, but it hasn't translated yet. This river is absolutely beautiful. Probably my favorite river to fish besides the Allegheny. Well, Roadhouse was a nice environment last night, but for the second time in two hours, I took a vicious dump. Did us a little dirty. When I say vicious, I mean vicious and viscous. A lot of effort for a little payoff, but the weather's great. Scenery's great. There's just no bugs in the air. I don't think these fish are uh, vigorously feeding. I think they're just kind of here. Said I'm glad I have a screen protector because I cracked it. Oh, really? Yeah, not my phone, the protector oh. though. I just caught one, he just caught one to double up to start the day. Hell yeah. You got him in the net? Beautiful. Well, that's what's up. The double up to start the day, two hours in. Victory! Hell yeah. His name's gonna be on Naveen. Hell yes, all right. He's got one. I got one here. Victory. All right, thank you, Naveen. We're just gonna let him slip out of the net because I want to get the release. See you, buddy. Come on, let's get you out of here. I'm not trying to torture you. There you go. Yes! That's what's up. All right. Same time, literally. Same time. Number two in the net. Yes! Oh, wow, and he hit on the uh, stone fly. Rainbow! on the stone fly. So I'm gonna get him unhooked and then we'll let him go to number two. Yes. I love it, I love it, I love it. So I've lost a couple in this spot, caught two in this spot. He got one up there and lost one. So, oh, keep fishing. Yes, that's what it's all about. That's why we're out here, puff, puff, bass. I'm happy. Uncle Canada's on.
Rainbow. Sure. Two for two. Hell yeah. Ooh. Who wanted it? What's his name? Uh, Darwin Charles Darwin. Darwin Charles Darwin? Yeah. Hang on. Darwin Charles Darwin. Here he goes. Congregio. Mmm. How do you feel? Much better. Makes it uh, a little more worthy. It does. What was your uh, level of gusto prior to catching those fish? Uh, like about a two. What is it now? Uh, definitely about a seven. Huh. Okay. Because I, uh, I still, uh, still feel yingling. Ooh, yingling, yeah. We had a couple of those. We're ready. It was worthwhile. crossing the river with his hiking stick and fishing gear. Hopefully, the plan is to take home some smoked trout to his younglings, feed them, tend the oats, chop some wood, and bed down for the night. And you see how agile and graceful they are walking across the river. Bingo. Uncle Canada with number three. We're, we're making numbers happen. Yeah. As we speak. What's his name? Uh, Larry Traveler the fourth. Larry Traveler the fourth yeah. on that same purple thing. This one's on like a blowtorch. We call it. It's got Up. Like a pink, ah. Pink button. Here we go, Larry Traveler. Traveling Larry. Do you think he's related to Blues Traveler? Uh, in a, in a different way. Okay. Hell yeah. Little Jimmy? Number four. He's small. Had some fight though on the stone fly again. Tied it right back on. Number four on the day. His name is going to be uh, Slippin' Jimmy. AKA Saul Goodman. Oh, all right. He's gone. Bingo. Slippin' Jimmy. Slippin'. We're out. Another one. Five. Whoa. Almost fell. On the stone again. Smashing? Yeah, he's a decent size. What are you going to call him? Uh, 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 Tito Francona. Beautiful. I'm going to get back to fishing. All right, enjoy it. Number six. We're going to call him a wall and paw pack. I'm just going to let him go, not on camera, try and keep the lines in the water. While I'm pop pack. Thank you, buddy. Rainbow. Uncle Canada with number four. Yep. What's his name? Uh, um, uh, Gilbert Arenas. Gilbert Arenas. All right, I'm going to get my line back in the water. Another one. Seven. Let's go. I don't think he's huge, but oh, he's got some fight for him. Oh, he's beautiful. Oh, he's huge. He's huge. He's a big boy. He's a really big boy. Come here. Oh, come here. Come here. Come here. And he's huge. That's oh. my PB Rainbow. Wow. He's massive. He is. Coming over for photos. He's huge. Okay. Look at that one. Got a big one. He's a tank. Absolute tank. His name's going to be Tank. Wow. Try and get a nice photo of him. Yep. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's nice big. looking fish. Huge. Check out that guy. Tank. Absolutely. Worthy. That's a unit. Oh, let's get him back in. He's probably a little beat up. Tank. Mm. Oh, 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 oh. He didn't like your, your cut of your jib. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Sweet. Awesome. 
How are you feeling? I feel great. This is amazing. This is amazing. But it just turns on like that. It's just, uh, you can't script it. You just got to be out here. Tank. Yeah, it's like balls deep. I just was hugging the back of the rock to the left side. Running a little lower on Gusto just because we've expended so much energy catching them. But how many do you have? Five? Yeah. Five, and I think I have seven. So double digits between the two of us. Still got good fishing left, but it was like we were expending a lot of energy with no fish and then expending a lot of energy catching fish. Broke off a couple times here, so I just had to put on a whole new rig. But back in action. What a day. What a great day. That's a run. The spot. This creek. Yeah, that's actually the best indicator. How do you feel about that spot? Made the day, really? Yeah, I'm a little uh, winded there. It was pleasurable. Very. Oh, it's getting later in the day. We're, uh, I'd say definitely running on fumes. I can't speak for him, but know him well enough. So he's uh, hitting that hole up here. I'm going to go fish this. And I think we'll call it a day after that. What a day. Very memorable. Very, very memorable. I don't know. We had a really, really, really good day here last year. Similar numbers. I don't know if we caught more today or more then, but either that day or this day are my best days or our best days together trout fishing. So one way or the other, top two, three day, maybe the best. So I'm gonna work this run, voila. Oh, your net. Well, I'd say we uh, call it a good day. Yeah, good day indeed. Very, nice, nice two day adventure. Indeed. With the Ramada in the middle. With the Ramada in the middle, for mm. sure. Yeah, never going back there. No. I think next time we have to agree on a hotel. Yeah, I just went with the cheapest one. I agree. All right, now we get to drive and bike and drive and stuff, and then it's the Guardians home opener. Shane Bieber on the mound. Managed by Terry Francona, Tito.